السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أنا اسمي علي أهلا بكم في فيديو جديد اليوم جايين على مزرعة أمريكية هاي المزرعة بها وايد شغلات خلينا نكتشف شنو اللي موجود بهاي المزرعة أول شيء راح نروح للمكان يسوون بيه العسل هاني هاوس هذا جوا هنا أنا راح يشوفونه شلون يطلعون العسل من النحل وشلون يصفوه وشلون يعبوه بال... بالشيش يلا وياي خلينا نشوف هناك شكو هاي الخيال هاي مال النحل هيك يخفق لها ويجيبها من هنا هذا اخر من عندها تشيل ست قوالب انواع العسل والنحل اللي يشتغل عليهم لان الصوره مال عسل شوف العسل شلون ينزل المكان كلش بسيط والمراحل يعني مثل ما تشوفون المراحل كلش بسيطه مجرد انه جابوا الخلايا مال النحل خلوها هنا بداوا ينظفون من السطح ينظفوها هذا طبعا كلش يجمعون هذا كله ينباع ما في شيء هنا يندم هنا ينظفوها من الزيادة مالتها وبعدين هناك ينزلوا العسل يصفوا نفوت نشوف الستور مالتهم يعني المحل مالتهم اللي يبيعون به المنتجات مالتهم اتوقع هاي الباب منا اه حلو شغلات عندهم شغلات حلوه دومنا شلونكم بالدومنا؟ سنارات حلوة سنارات حبيت الدجاج شكله حلو كل مكان موجود هنا أنا بأمريكا أي محل أي سواق تلقون بها البني المواد الطبية العدد مع الإسعافات الأولية هذا المجسم مال المزرعة خل نروح نكمل نشوف بعد شكو بالمزرعة يلا مزرعة مساحتها كلش كبيرة مثل ما تشوفون يعني ما تدري من انا يعني هم معتنين بها لو ما معتنين بس هذا الطريق كلش حلو هذا حتى هنا طبعا يستعملون ام بايسكلات كلش هواية يعني رياضه يركضون فتشوف هذا الطريق دائما عليه اثار اذا منتبهين اثار مال بايسكل الناس تروح وتجي صحيح يعني مزرعه عندها شلون مثل ما يقول لها اصحابها بس بنفس الوقت انه يمر خلالها طريق عام للناس الناس يقدرون يستعملوه شوف هاي المناطق اللي مسيجيها هاي انه الناس ما يقدرون يدخلوها هاي يعني شلون ملكيه خاصه هاي المناطق كلها هسه نروح لها ونشوفها
هسه راح ندخل جوا بهذا البيت Um, this land is about 200 acres of farmland and woodland that the Klein family settled in the 1830s. And many generations of Kleins from that time on, all the way up until the 1960s, farmed this same land um, as a dairy farm. Oh. So the house itself was the um, second or maybe third house that was built on the property and it was built in the late 1880s. So we are farming the land and representing the dairy operation as it would have taken place in the 1890s. So, um, so everything that you see, uh, um, if you walk around, all the animals that you see, uh, you see the farmers out there, um, everything is being done as it would have been done in the 1890s. We've got, wow. yeah, so we have a, a heritage breed of um, milking cows. Oh, yeah. They're called short horn milk cows. Um, and they're lovely, actually. They're, I think they're really pretty. And they don't, they're not the big volume milk producers, but they, they are kind of a dual purpose cattle. So you can raise them for meat or you can raise them for milk. Um, We, and they, four of them, gave birth earlier this year, um, two in March. So you'll see the calves that are in the closest pasture here were born in March. And then the calves that are still with their mamas were just born about a week and a half ago, two weeks. <laughs> okay. So they're brand new. The barns have been restored to historic condition. They, they were The main barn was being used in the 60s, and then it but was in the order of disrepair. The original building on this property is still standing. That's the little brick smokehouse right in front of us here. This one? Uh-huh, the little one. Yeah. That, that's for curing meats, like making ham out of your house. يمكن بس احنا نريد ندخل للبيت نشوفه. بقية الناس جايين يشوفون الخيل وال الخرفان والدجاج. هسه راح نشوف من ورا البيت، خلينا نفوت نشوف البيت اول. We call it the summer kitchen because it is used in the summertime. So the main source of um, heat for cooking would have been from wood, right? In a yeah. wood stove. In order to get this thing hot enough to cook, you've got to get it fired up about an hour ahead of time and you're constantly stoking the wood box with small pieces of wood to keep fire going. Um, I did not start a fire today How about we collect? because I don't have anything that I have to cook and it's going to be the hottest day of the year so far and I didn't want to be near the hot stove, which is why we have a summer kitchen. You don't want all that heat in the house where you have to sleep at night. So yeah. it's bad enough without air conditioning. It's going to be hot enough. You don't want to be adding any. So you have extra structure to bring all that dirty wood and smoke and soot and heat outside for the summer. Why? You can play. Yummy. So another pump right here. Same thing. If we close the door behind us, it'll stay cooler in here. You'll notice that it is relatively cool in here. Um, again, no air conditioning, but if we keep the, the house tight and you're not firing up the stove, you can um, kind of keep the house relatively cool. Um, examples of things that we cook during summer camp are on the table here. We make butter every day. Wow. Um, fresh butter every day in a this is the, churn, right? Yeah. This again would have been a modern convenience of the time. You put milk in there and the, you spin it. And For a long time. It takes about 40 time. minutes. So make a little yeah. bit of butter. Yeah. So, so the so old, different. even old fashioned for 1890s would have been the old fashioned butter churn. Um, in order to make butter uh, with this tool, you have to have a lot of cream in there. 
um, and you would be making a lot of butter. So you would only wow. do this on special occasions. Yeah. Um, nicer to make butter fresh every day since you don't have very good refrigeration. You just eat it all. Wow. <laughs> That's a fancy oven, isn't it? Yeah. Again, wood fire is what makes this thing hot. And very tricky, if you haven't done it, um, very tricky to cook with wood, to bake, especially that's, with wood. Um, you've got a pot, you've got your wood box on one side. I don't know how to open this wood box. Anyway, this is a wood box. It, so your heat is here, which is great. You get it really hot. It's easy to boil water yeah. on this burner. Maybe you want to heat up some peas or something over here where it's cooler. Yeah. But in your oven, you have the same problem. So it's going to be hot on this side. Excuse me, what that is, side. You want to be turning your... What is that? It's a good question. This is for heating water. Holds four gallons of water. And if you were taking a bath, you're going to need a lot of water, a lot of hot water. So yeah. <laughs> most of your water would be heated in kettles like this. But if you've got a water heater as part of your stove, right, that's just we that's don't have that. heating up um, uh, while you're cooking. Stove, just like you would have in your house. Storage, just like you would have in your house. A refrigerator, just like you would have in your house. That, this is that's the refrigerator. That's a fridge. Wow. Refrigerator or ice box, right? Not the kind you plug in the wall. Obviously, no electricity in 1890. They put that. And it's literally an ice box. So that on the top, you would go out to the ice house that's out by the chicken coop, and you get cut a block of ice. You bring it in, set it in here, wow. and then put your food in the lower compartments. And it would keep them cool, not the kind of refrigeration that we have today cool, Yeah. but cool enough to last that house was empty when the Forest Preserve District took it over. Um, but these are all historic items. So anything of interest in this room you can ask me about is the dining room named for the obvious choice. This is where they would dine of five meals a day. Um, they would sit down as a family and eat a meal. Some of those meals would be lighter than others, but um, yeah, a lot of cooking. Can you the game over there? So, uh, yeah, the ring game is literally a, a ring toss, right? Mm -hmm. Just your, the idea is to take the little rings and toss them onto the little sticks. Um, toys are on the floor in this room because they likely would have been on the floor in this room. Mom's stuck in the kitchen all day with a hot stove. Yeah. If she's got little ones, she probably has them all in there getting burnt on, by the stove and on your foot. So this would be a great place to keep the door open. Some of the heat comes in here and she can keep an eye on the little ones, entertain them with it. Is that black thing? Mm -hmm. This is the wood stove. Heat source in the winter time only for this room. In the summertime, the stove is taken apart a little bit because you don't need it in the summer. And uh, I'm just gonna no, we don't touch anything in here. A darling. Yeah. Another darling. Yeah. So this is the living room, just like your own living room. Right? Nice carpet on the floor for sitting on. If you want to sit, feel free. Yeah, we can sit back. This would be where the family would gather after chores were done. In the wintertime, it gets dark early, right? Like around four. So you'd want to have a place to go, be warm, relax. Dad would probably be reading a book, maybe, a newspaper. Dad would definitely be smoking a pipe or a cigar. Is he smoking a pipe? All smoke all the time when he could. Um, this room has a library. Family may or may not have had a library. Likely would have had a place for the kids to do homework. Sit and do homework or write a letter. Um, wood box for storing um, wood for the wood stove in the winter. In the summer, again, the stove is dismantled and moved away. It's being stored in the corner here. But in the winter, the stove would sit here, right? So you got the heat all around. And then that register would be opened up so that the heat from the stove would go to the bedroom that's upstairs. Five bedroom Victorian home, four of those bedrooms are upstairs. Um, there's a few things in this room that we can touch. 
There's mm -hmm. some games you might be interested in. Oh, game, 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 game! Wait, just watch. Oh, this is a fun one. It's not a magic oh. trick, but it's kind of a magic trick. You want to try? Yeah, I'll just try. Okay, see how my fingers are holding it? Yeah. That's how you got to hold it. What is that one? This one I'm not very good at. But you yeah. might be. Try that one. And this try. one is really hard. I've only seen three people get this. I want to try. Ever. Um, one of the things I like to point out in this room is the photo rail yeah. <clears throat> or picture rail. You'll see this piece of wood that goes all the way around the room that the artwork is hung from. Yes. Um, I, ra I rather like this idea. I'm kind of sad that we lost the idea. We like to hide our our hooks and our yeah. fingers anymore, but not much light. So even chores or projects or homework would be done by very dim light and very smoky, dirty light. So tricks would be done to kind of get more light out of that. So you can see these shiny metal discs behind the lamps to kind of reflect the red light back into the room. Crystals coming from. This is the parlor. Oh, look at that dance room over there for the guests. And you'll notice this room does not have a wood stove because yeah. it is not used much for special occasions only. Oh, look at the piano. Are those real birds? Oh, they were real birds. They were real birds. Now, can you open that? Oh, no. Then how did they come They were put in there. That's an art project, right? What that is, is a, that? I that is a that piece of somebody's fancy artwork. Are those, were those real birds, but now they're pretend birds? Well, they were real birds, and they were captured and killed. And then they were taxidermy. Taxidermy was a popular craft. Why do they still have their um, oh, right. eyes? They, they, put in, they put in fake eyes mm -hmm. so they look nice. Mm -hmm. So you'll notice this room is also much lighter than the rest of the house. Yeah. So the rest of the house has kerosene lamps and wood fired heat. Again, very dirty, um, sooty. Um, so Darker colored uh, wallpaper and paints were used in those spaces because it doesn't show the soot as much. Oil-based paints were used because they're shiny, so it makes it look cleaner than it is. If you're using those items all the time, kerosene lamps and wood stoves, you're going to be making a lot of soot. So this room doesn't have that heat source, and the best of the best wallpapers or paints and art or family heirlooms would have been on display in this room. Again, this is for entertaining visitors. You want to show off the best. Yes. So a lot of families um, emphasize music. If you had enough money to pay somebody to come teach your kids an instrument, you probably would do that. So we have a number of instruments on display in here. This is a pump organ. Uh, it only makes noise. It only will produce a sound if you pump air into it. So there's no sound unless you're pumping the pedals into pumping air into two bladders that are inside. Um, this would have been a little bit less expensive than a regular real organ. So probably popular, they're pretty popular in the catalogs. So the There's horns are boots. actually were used as toys a lot. That boots. Um, and artwork, functional artwork, as much as possible. Maybe a different type I've not before. Um, there's also something طبعا هم يعوفون الباب مسدود حتى البيت يبقى بارد بصراحة حار يعني الجو حار الله يساعدهم شلون قبل كانوا عايشين بس البيت كلش قديم هذني الفوق هذني مال صواعق شوفوا ثلاثة مخلين والكيبل ينزل لي جوا 
للقاع يعني يثبت بالقاع حتى اي صاعقه تجي تنزل جوا تقريبا البيت اكثر من وحده مخلي لها مال صواعق لانه كلش يخافون عليها البيت كلش اثري كلش محافظين عليه صاعقه لا سمح الله اذا جت ضربه البيت راح تنزل على واحد من ذني الاربعه الروس المدببه وتنزل للقاع هذا هنا انا هم انا مثل مخزن يخزنون بي شغلات هسه راح يروحون يجمعون بيض And if they're stressed out or if they're injured, they will not make eggs. And then we're just feeding them for nothing. So the chicken coop is their home, right? This is the place where they go at night to be safe from predators. Um, it's the place where they stay cool on hot days. Did you shut that door? It's the, yep, we get locked in. It's the place where they eat, where they drink, and they lay eggs. In order for a chicken to lay an egg, it's got to be comfortable in its space. So, if we want to keep the chickens comfortable in their space, then we have to respect that space. So what I like to tell people before we go in the coop, if you're going to come in the coop with me, there's going to be a bunch of us probably in the coop. And there's going to be chickens in the coop. And they might pick on you. I don't think they're going to peck on you, but they might want to leave. If we walk into somebody's house and it's really, really crowded, Grandpa might get up and leave because it doesn't want to be around all those people. Right? It might not feel so comfortable. Chickens are the same way. They might be like, okay, people are here. I would like to leave. So the chickens have two ways out of their coop. Uh, before you walk in the door, I would like for you to look around and see those two places. There's a little hole. See the big hole? Yeah. So if we are standing by those places, then they can't leave. So we want to think about where our bodies are, right? So that we're not in the way if they want to leave. Everybody understand? Yes. Any questions? Yes. So I'll let you guys collect the eggs if you want to collect them, and I'll hold them. Unless someone else wants to hold it. So some of the eggs are in a box that doesn't have a chicken in it, right? Those are the easiest ones to get. I suggest getting those first. And then I'll show you how to get the ones underneath the chickens. Okay, when you put them in the basket, put them in real gentle so they don't point up against each other. If they point, they could crack. Nobody else wants to hold a basket, huh? Excuse me, حياة المزرعة حلوة صار عندك تربي دجاج تربي خرفان تربي خيل حصونة أبقار وحليب بعيد عن المدينة والسيارات والدوخة مالتها بس يعني سيارة كلش مفيدة كلش تحتاجها أنا يعني ما أقدر أتخلى عن السيارة وعن الموبايل الشغلتين لازم دائما موجودات وياي بس هاي الحياة كلش أحبها كلش حلوة هذا المكان خلينا نفوت نشوف شو بيه يعني مزرعة بيها هواية تفاصيل وتفاصيل حلوة حبيت الموضوع عن بس ما راح أسوي مزرعة هذا هنا أنا يمكن ما أعرف شنو يعني مو كل شيء أعرف هاي عربانة يخلون بيها الغراض ويشدون بيها الحصان و... يمكن مكان النجارة يعني مثلا يبنون لي ويسوون ويشدون يعني اللي يعرفوا شغلات المزرعة خلي يقول لنا هاي شنو خلي يعلمنا نحتاج نسوي مزرعة خلي نروح نشوف بعد شكو عندهم عندهم هلو هاي جود هاو ار يو هنا يهمون الناس يسوون ذني شغلات Yeah, that's good. Making uh, fish out of old horseshoes. It's beautiful. They're big. 
big fish with a hook on him. So. Oh, look. <laughs> yeah, wow. So, just getting ready to finish him off here. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Oh, sorry. This one, this one. I mean, how do you make all this chibi up? Oh, the niche about the kebab is a little bit. I don't know if it's a little bit of a chibi up. I don't know. But it's not a little bit of a chibi up. I'm not sure if it's a little bit of a chibi up. I'm not sure if it's a little bit of a chibi up. I'm not sure if لاني بعدهن صغار ليش الساحة شت عليهن بعد أكو أبقار ويا أمهم حسب ما قالوا يعني ما أتوقع إحنا نقدر ندخل بكل مكان أكيد يعني نفوت ونشوف أوه هاي مكانات اللي أتوقع هاي بني أسماء الحصونة اللي موجودة ذني شدوهم بالحصونة من الجرون العربانة هذا المكان اللي يجدون به الحصونة، الحصونة طالعات هسه هناك مخليهم. سادين المكان. كلهم مطلعينهم برا. أتمنى الحصونة تشرب مي حسب ما قالوا هنا يخلون الحليب اللي يحلبوه من الأبقار بهذا المكان خلوا نروح هناك ونشوف هاي الخرفان مالتهم طبعا هنا الحيوانات عجبة بالنسبة للأطفال لأنه ما موجودة في كل مكان يعني حتى شارع من تمشي بيه بزونة ما تلقي البزازين يعني يبقوها بالبيت يحتفظون بيها ما يخلوها تطلع بشارع فالطفل من يجي المزرعة كل شيء تونس يشوف دجاج ويشوف خرفان ويشوف بقرة شغلات ما شايفها عجبة بالنسبة لهم هاي الأبقار مالتهم ترى يعني ما شاء الله بني البيبيز مالتهم صغار يعني حياة المزرعة حلوة بس بيها كل شيء هو شغل يعني تقعد من الصبح تظل تشتغل 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 وحد ما يصير الليل هذني الحيوانات مثل أمانة عندك أنت صح تستفاد من عندها تاخذ من عندها لحم تاخذ من عندها حليب تاخذ منها بيض بس تحتاج بنفس الوقت إنه ترعاها تحافظ عليها أكل شرب تتمرض تداريها المكان مالتها تنظفه فدائما شغل مستمر حياة المزرعة مو سهلة حياة المزرعة كلش صعبة بس بنفس الوقت كلش حلوة وتستفاد من عدها ووصلنا لنهاية الفيديو وان شاء الله اشوفكم بالفيديو الجاي السلام عليكم